All right, it's time for an MPC quick tip. Now, if you're like me, most of the time I use the MPC for creating ideas and coming up with the initial concept, but then I take it out of the MPC and throw it into the DAW to finish up the sequencing, maybe track some vocals inside the computer and everything of that sort. So in this video, we're gonna go over a few different ways to take our ideas out of the MPC and then get them into our session in our DAW of choice. We're gonna go over how to export the stems directly out of the MPC, but then after that, a really cool drag and drop feature when we use the MPC as a virtual instrument inside of our session. So let's check it all out. So here we are in the MPC standalone, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little project idea, export the stems, and then bring them into Studio One where we can finish the track later. So just to have a listen to what we're gonna be exporting, And if you're curious how that lead synth is doing the automation right there, we're gonna go over into track number five and then quickly go into our program edit and take a look here at the tremolo effect and we're just automating the rate and the depth of the tremolo effect. Have a listen. All right, so how we're gonna take this idea and put it into our DAW is basically exporting the stems, but there's a critical step we wanna do before that, which is exploding the drum track. Now, if you're not aware how it works with MPC is right now all these drum sounds are contained inside of one track. It's a program that is being triggered by the specific track. So if we exported this, MPCs export on a track level basis, so we would have all these drums on one audio file. So in order to explode this track, we're gonna come up here and hit the pencil tool, and the second one in is explode. What you're gonna see is that when we explode the track, the original track, number one, called drums, that all these sounds were previously triggered by is now muted, and then it will split out and add additional tracks in the next available slots for the individual sounds. And here you can see that now the drum channel is muted. And if we hold down main and take a look at the new channels, we now have the individual sounds here on six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. And those are just the individual drum sounds. So now we're simply just going to have to export the stems of this idea. So go into menu, you can go into save right here. Now we have audio mix down. And if we take a look at audio mix down, by default it highlights stereo output, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna select explode tracks. And that just means each individual track is going to be exported as its own file. Hit export. Now it's gonna ask where do we wanna save this? Well, I'm gonna save it here on my USB drive and I'm gonna make a new folder. This new folder is gonna be called idea. and I'm gonna save this inside of here. We can give it a name if we want, but it's gonna name each individual file based on the track. So a lot of times I'll just come in here and maybe put a single number, hit do it. Now we're gonna take the USB out of the MPC, put it over into the computer, and then bring in all of our files. So here we are inside the computer. I simply just put my USB stick in and we can see all the stems that were tracked out. We can select all these and drag them right into Studio One. Just drop them on the one right here. Now, one thing to note is to make sure that your project tempo is set to the same tempo as what your MPC project was set at. This will ensure that if there's any sort of time stretching or anything of the sort, everything will work out fine. Now, one thing to make note of is that when you do export your stems out of the MPC, a lot of times there's one or two tracks that you're gonna have to delete. Here we can see that program 01, which is absolutely nothing, was exported. And here, the drum track, which was muted, actually comes out with a really interesting sort of completely bandpassed sound. So let's go ahead and delete that. 
as well. And take a listen, and it should sound just like what we originally had heard on the MPC. And now we're able to use our DAW of choice and sequence this out, maybe record some vocals. Okay, so here we've loaded the MPC as a VST. Now in order to load the project that we've actually saved on our media directly out of the standalone MPC, I'm going to navigate over to my finder. I'm gonna find where that's connected. I'm gonna go into that project right here. And this is my project on the external media source. And I'm gonna press and hold, switch back over to my DAW and just drop it in. And it's gonna open it right here. Now, if we play back inside the DAW. We have everything right there, ready to go. Now I'm gonna resize this just so we can see what's going on here. So now what we're able to do is we're actually able to use these two menus right here. This is export audio and this is export MIDI. Now let's say I wanted to try this MIDI pattern on a completely different virtual instrument. I could just click this once and then press and hold and drag it over. And this just exported all of my MIDI so I can actually drop in any sort of new VST into this channel and try this drum program out on a completely different VST. But if I wanna grab these as actual individual stems, here's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna solo, let's say, the kick right here. Click on export audio. We're just gonna drag that in and now we have our kick. Now, after we've dropped that in, you would think that you could simply just hit solo right here and then do the exact same for the clap program here. But if we click on the export audio button once again and drag it in, we're gonna see the exact same result. It's a glitch in the MPC software. And what you have to do as a workaround is you just switch over to, let's say, track number two, which is the bass, and switch back to drums. And now it refreshes this audio export button. We can do that, drag it in, and now we're going to have claps. So it's very convenient, but also that one little glitch of preventing us from just quickly flipping through solo on all of these and then dropping in the drum tracks can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Now, if you're using the MPC connected as a controller, you can really quickly just use the encoder knob and flip from the drum track to the second track and then back, it takes two seconds, but it is an extra step and it does become a little redundant. All right, those were a couple of different ways of how we can get our concepts and ideas out of the MPC and into our DAW of choice. Now, if you have some suggestions, please leave a comment below because your idea might just be the thing that unlocks somebody else's creativity. So if you like this channel, please subscribe, comment, like, do all that kind of stuff so we can keep these coming to you. We're actually working right now on a full-on MPC boot camp, And if you wanna sign up to get information about it, please go to createeducateinspire.com where there is a sign-up list right there. On that note, thanks for your time, thanks for your attention. Now, I hope you go make something cool. <laughs>